Okay, happy Friday flow, everyone. Welcome, my name is Ellen. Um, we're gonna start seated today. Go ahead and grab your blocks, props, whatever you wanna use. And we are gonna use a foam roller, but um, at the end of class. So just have it handy right now so that we don't forget to grab it. Happy Friday. Can you all believe we only have one week left in July? This is crazy. Summer is flying by. Let's start with a shoulder shrug. So any comfortable seated position, hands on your thighs, bring the shoulders all the way up to your ears, big deep breath in, and then exhale, let it all go. A couple more times, so all the way up, big shrug, exhale, just letting go of any of that tension you've been holding on to all week. Take it up, exhale, let it go. Let's do it two more times, then he'll take it up, exhale, Release it, one more. Big shrug and exhale, release it. Let's turn those into rolls or circles. So up, down and back. You wanna create a big circle with your shoulder here. Roll it back, up, down and back. Imagining that you're placing your shoulders into your back pockets, your back jean pockets, whatever pants you have but really pulling down through your shoulders as you do that bottom part of the roll. Let's do one more. All right, let's take our hands behind us and just squeeze those shoulder blades together, lifting the chest, maybe taking that head up and back and then tuck the chin, inhale, exhale. Go ahead and interlace your fingers, press them out in the way, drop the chin. So stretching out the upper back here. Take one more breath. Inhale, bring those arms up. And exhale, let's release the arms. Next inhale, we bring them back up. And exhale, we let them go. So a couple of upper body stretches here. Inhale and exhale, two more, nice and tall. Exhale down, last one. Big inhale, bring your palms together, exhale, lower down, and just sort of forward fold through. Take your hands out in front of you, walk them out, forward fold, drop the head. Take a couple breaths here in your first forward fold. Maybe come into a different position or bring those knees a little wider. Take one more breath. And then inhale, slowly come back up. So let's do one more thing in the seated position. I'm just gonna switch my position real quick. I just wanna do a gentle twist to the right and to the left. So let's take those arms up on that next inhale. And exhale, let's drop them to the left this time. Sit up nice and tall, you can take that right hand and just gently placing the outside of your left knee. Adding a little bit of a push here. Sit up nice and tall on that next inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit further over that shoulder. Inhale brings us back to center, arms up, and exhale, now we go to that right side. So same thing, that left hand could gently be pressing on the outside of your right knee. Right hand is behind you, you're sitting up super tall. Create a little more space here with each breath. Inhale a little taller. Exhale, twist to the right. And then inhale, takes us back up. And exhale, let's let it go. All right, let's come out of this position. We're actually gonna come up to a standing position. So once you come to the back of your mat here, you're gonna tuck those toes. You're gonna place your heels onto the floor. We're just gonna slowly pull up one vertebrae at a time. Let's take a step to the center of our mat. We're gonna take a nice big deep breath. Inhale, those arms come up, just like we did on the floor. And exhale, you're gonna let it all go. Good, nice and tall here with your inhale, big reach. Exhale, let it go. So your feet right under those hips, maybe a little bit closer in. Knees are just gently bent. Inhale, back up. Let's do our twist. So two, let's do the right, the left side first. Lower the arms, just like we did on the floor. 
Gentle twist over that shoulder. Knees are soft here. Inhale back up. Reach and twist, exhale to that right side. So make sure that your hips are still forward and that twist is coming more from your torso and your upper body. Inhale back up. Exhale, let's do it again to the left. We're gonna do a couple of these. Inhale and exhale. So you're looking over that shoulder, big twist from the center. Inhale. Exhale, this time bend the knees a little bit, almost like you're sort of going into a chair pose. Just drop back, just showing you from the side. And then come back up, inhale, straighten those legs. Exhale to the right. Dropping back just a little bit. We're gonna reach that knee again, inhale, just like we did seated. Exhale, so reach for that knee, hold it right here. <clears throat> from the side, take that opposite hand and just reach it towards your opposite hip here, encouraging that shoulder to open. You can gently press against that knee to find a little bit more of a stretch and a twist right here. Exhale, drop the hips, lift the chest. Can you reach towards, see my hand here, reaching towards the opposite hip a little bit further. One more breath, inhale, take this up. Ooh, exhale, same thing to the right. Drop it down, I'll show you from the side. You're reaching on the outside of that knee, back arm, elbow's gonna bend. You're gonna drop it on your low back and you're gonna reach that hand for your opposite hip. We're gonna hold this for a couple breaths. So again, twist happening from your torso and your upper body. Your hips stay pretty much forward and squared off. Exhale, drop an inch lower. Keep breathing. One more breath here, big twist. Inhale back up. Perfect, exhale, let it go. Roll the shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna sort of continue with that twist and just do side bend, our half crescent moon shape, arms up, inhale, interlace those fingers, exhale, let's reach over to that left side. Big reach, arms glued to your ears, and we're holding here for a couple breaths. So think about pressing into this right foot. As you stretch and reach, now it's a little comfortable on your shoulders, feel free to bend at your elbows. Release that tension there. Let's do two more big deep breaths. Imagine a beautiful crescent moon in the sky. You're creating that same shape. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, let's just release the arms before we move to the other side. Roll shoulders, maybe circle the wrists. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Wanna keep that core nice and strong as well. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, interlace those fingers nice and tall. Take one more breath and then reach down to that right side. Same thing here. Perfect, nice crescent moon shape. Looking good, everybody. Imagine someone you know, pushing you on the side and pressing that left hip out a little bit further. You're pushing into your left foot this time. Two more deep breaths, keep that core strong. And then inhale back up and then exhale. Let's just let it go here. You're gonna bend the knees and come all the way down to shake it out into a forward fold. Drop your head, bend the knees here as much as you can. Grab your elbows, bring your feet a little wider. Brad doll, so relaxing your head. You're just going to sway from right to left. Release those arms. Inhale, slowly roll back up. One vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last. Exhale, we're back at the top. Okay, let's step back to the end of our mat. All right, so we're gonna slowly roll down, come back up. We'll just get a little bit warmer. And once we come down into our plank, we're gonna open up to side plank, just so you all know what's happening, um, to continue working through our side body. So inhale, reach those arms up, and exhale, let it go. Starting with the chin, tuck it down, then roll the shoulders. Feet are just under those hips. Then start to bend at the waist of the hips. Arms are heavy like a doll here, just let them go. Start to bend at your knees. Once your fingertips make contact with the mat, flatten them out and walk up to your plank. Pull this plank for one more breath. And then you're gonna open up, reach that right arm up for your side plank. So that bottom knee can come to the floor. We're really just here for a breath. Take your gaze up, inhale, exhale, close it up. 
Coming back to your plank. Now the left side. Inhale, you can drop that knee. Exhale, left arm reaches. Keep those hips high. Inhale, come back to your plank. And then exhale, we're going to walk our hands back to our feet. We're going to repeat that sequence. Knees are bent. Roll it up. Head coming up last. So reverse that roll up. Knees, hips, waist, shoulders, and head. Inhale up. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, lower the arms, tap the chin. Bear on the shoulders. Bend at the waist and hips. Start to bend at the knees. Hands come to the floor. Walk out to your plank. Hold this here. Inhale. Exhale, reach that right arm up. All that weight on that left side, side plank, wherever you can drop that bottom knee if you want. Inhale, take it back to center. Exhale, left arm reaches. Inhale, back to center. Exhale. This time, let's find downward facing dog. So pressing those hips way back. Pedal out your heels. Inhale, come forward to your plank. This for a side plank sequence one more time. Exhale, right arm lifts. Inhale, back down. And you want that hand right under your shoulder. Exhale, left arm. Right under your shoulder. Inhale, back. Exhale, down dog. Drop both heels. Drop your head. Think of pressing your chest towards your thighs here. Really lift those hips up. One more breath and down dog. Inhale forward to your plank. Exhale. Let's lower the knees and chest. Get those triceps working. Chaturanga. Your chest lands right on top of those fingertips. Move your elbows in. Flatten your toes. Inhale. Lift baby cobra. And exhale. Retop the toes. Come up and back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Take some forward to our plank. And breath out. Chaturanga. Knees and chest. Keep your back flat. So we don't want our chest to drop first or our hips, but pretty much the same time. So keep a nice straight line with your body. Elbows in, feet flat. Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Exhale, retop the toes. Down dog. One more time, it should be nice and warm here. Inhale forward to our plank. Gaze in front of your fingertips. Exhale, knees and then chest. Chest and hips drop about the same time. Now let's bring, let's take a little break. Bring your legs a little wider than your hips. Inhale, let's lift up to Sphinx Pose. And exhale, we're gonna hold. So warming up through our spine, dropping the shoulders, lifting through the chest. Elbows right underneath your shoulders. Perfect. Hold this here for a couple breaths, making sure we don't start to creep forward and allow the chest to drop. You want to keep it up nice and high. One more breath here. And then let's slowly release. <clears throat> Take your arms by your side, chin down. Next inhale, let's lift everything off the mat. Nice and strong. Inhale, locust pose. Legs are straight. Toes are pointed. Shoulder blades pull together. Exhale, lower. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. A couple more times. Inhale. Making sure those legs are straight, so no bend in the knees. That lift comes from your hips and your glutes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Let's do two more. Inhale. Squeeze to lift. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Hold this here for eight, seven, six. Find your highest point. Four. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Relax. Turn your head to one side. Get that neck stretch. Bend at your knees. Lift the legs. Windshield wipers. Dropping them from side to side here. Loosening up those hips just a little bit. And then bring it back to center, release. Bring your head back to center. <clears throat> Just have to move my stuff out of the way. We're gonna do a lat pull down here with our upper body to warm that up. So you're gonna lift just the head, neck, and shoulders. Your hands are gonna come right by your shoulders. And as you inhale, you're gonna extend your arms straight up. Exhale, make fists and pull the elbows down towards your rib cage. So like you're doing that cable lat pull down machine. Inhale. And exhale, head doesn't move, legs stay on the floor. Inhale, 
exhale, pull. So you're gonna gaze right at your mat. Inhale and exhale. So we're working those posture muscles. Big reach, big pull, we've got four more. Inhale, extend through the fingers. Exhale, make fist, pull the elbows into your sides. Three, and pull, chest stays lifted. Two, and pull. Imagine you have resistance and weight. Last one, pull and relax. Good, turn your head to the other side. Drop the arms by your side. Take a breather. Maybe another pair of the reverse windshield wipers feels good. You can take that. Dropping the legs from side to side. And then slowly relax the legs. We're gonna go ahead and tuck our toes, place those hands back underneath our shoulders. We're gonna press up and back. And this time let's find a quick child's pose. We have not found that yet this morning. So feet together, knees wide, drop the head down and back. Finding a nice stretch in your spine, forehead to the floor. Now with your head down, we're just gonna get a quick stretch for our triceps. So what I want you to do with your head down, you can take a look at my screen too if you want first, but place your hands in prayer, bend at your elbows and take your hands right above your head and then slowly lower. We're gonna do it a couple times, tricep stretch. Head stays down, hands together, take it up above the head, reach as far as you can and then slowly lower. Let's do it two more times. Inhale up. Exhale one more time. We're gonna keep our hands right above our head. Rest right there. And slowly release. Slowly walk your hands up. Let's come to tabletop. Get a little bit more twist going. So in our tabletop, We'll first start with cat cow. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. And again, inhale. And exhale. Good. One more cat cow. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Spinal twist. Let's start with that right arm. Reach it up. Inhale. And exhale. Reach it through. Just about halfway. Inhale, back up. Exhale. Wrap it under. Two more. Inhale, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, wrap. Last one. <coughs> We're going to keep this last one extended. Now, if you want a little extra, extend that right leg as well. So straighten it out. If you want even more, lift that leg off the floor. We're going to hold this for eight, seven, six, five. If lifting it doesn't work, just keep that toe on the floor. Lift for three. Two and one, perfect. So sort of like our side plank. Same thing, other side, left arm, inhale up. Exhale, wrap around your rib cage. Inhale, lift. Exhale, wrap. Keep going, two more. So make sure I'm facing you all. Lift, reach and twist, last one. Pull this last one up, stack your hips. Extend now that left leg. Maybe you lift it up and hold. This side's much easier for me. Pull this for eight, seven, Six, we'll practice this later in our standing half moon. This is essentially what we're doing here, right? Squeeze that glute, two and one. Perfect job. Sit back, child's pose one more time. Hold up there. So we practice our side plank rotation and then also that hold. Let's take one more breath. We're gonna work through our hips before we come up to standing. So inhale, slowly come on up. Exhale, let's go ahead and find that downward facing dog. I grab my blocks to have a candy here on either side. So on your next breath, you're going to bring those feet together. Inhale, you're going to extend that left leg high, your legged like dog. Exhale, bend that knee, plant your foot in between your hands. Drop that back knee, high or low lunge. Reach up and hold. So just working through those hips here. Arms up. Maybe cactus feels better on your shoulders. Maybe the arms stay right there. Maybe you're holding on to a wall, but either way, feeling that stretch of that right hip flexor. Core nice and strong, one more breath. Inhale, down, exhale, tuck that back toe, lift it off the floor, hanging out in your runner's lunge for just a couple breaths. Notice how I'm using my blocks here. So I want the hips low, the chest up. Hold it for four, 
three, hips down, two, one. Now step it on back, down dog. Same thing, other side, <clears throat> other leg. So inhale, right leg lifts high. Bend that knee as you exhale. Plant that foot top of your mat. Drop that back knee. Inhale, lift, low lunge. Exhale, hold. Couple of breaths here. Maybe hands on your hips. Now stretching out through that left hip flexor, keeping that chest up. Maybe a little back bend feels good. One more breath here, dropping those hips. Inhale, hands down. Exhale, let's just lift the knee off the floor without moving anything else. So keep your hips low. Lift the knee without moving your hips. Extend through that left leg, press through that heel. We're holding this for four. Three, chest up, hips down, two, one. Step it back, down dog. Awesome job, hold this here. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, walk, hop, or jump. Forward fold. Let it go. Inhale, let's reverse that swan dive. Slowly make your way up. Pressing your heels into the floor. <clears throat> Bring your palms together. Gaze up, exhale, lower down. All right, let's keep moving. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. So big circle with the arms, drop with the chest. Inhale, let's lift up halfway, nice flat back. Pull the shoulder blades together and pushing into your heels here. <clears throat> Excuse me, exhale, lower. Let's take a step back, right leg, warrior one, heel into the floor, inhale, arms up, interlace those fingers as you exhale, bending that front leg. Arms glued to your ears, nice and strong here. So hips are forward, getting a nice stretch behind that calf. One more breath here. Inhale, we're gonna straighten that leg. So we're gonna do the triangle pose, the same way we did last week. Exhale, you're gonna lower your upper body. So you wanna find a nice flat back, as flat as this bench. Maybe arms come by your sides, that works too. Hold those hips back, hold it, hold it. Your flattest back can bend that front leg a little bit. One more breath, exhale, drop your left arm and then open up through that right side for triangle pose. Hold this here. Then you can come up a little bit higher, a little less tension on the arms. That hand can maybe come to your hip. So the further down you are, the harder this is. So adjust for your first round. Maybe you find the wall and practice falling into it. One more breath. Ooh, in this child, in this triangle pose. Push into your back foot. Inhale, slowly come on up. <clears throat> Perfect. Exhale. We're going to take a step to the front. Now, I just want you to put a little bit of weight on this right leg. Okay? You're going to bring your hands to prayer and drop into your chair pose. Just a little bit of weight on this leg. On your next inhale, I want you to bring this leg up to your chest. Hold this here for our first balance. I'm already falling over. Standing legs slightly bent. You're bringing that knee to your chest. Hands in prayer, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, high lunge, big step back. Raise those arms up and hold. Perfect, nice high lunge. We're gonna transition to warrior two right from here. So inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, drop the heel. Open up from that hip, lower your arms. Perfect, hold this right here. So we're gonna practice that extended side angle so that next time we can go into a standing half moon. So next, inhale, flip that palm. Exhale, first peaceful warrior, take it back. Take your gaze up with that hand. And then inhale, take it back down. Exhale, we're gonna do sort of a side bend, which is why we were warming that up in the beginning. So you're gonna side bend down. This right arm is just gently resting on that thigh. Back arm, sweep the floor and extend, extended side angle. So remember we did this on the floor earlier. I want you to really press into your back leg. So I don't want all the weight on that front leg. I want you to drop your hips, lift your chest. Good, making a nice, beautiful diagonal line shape with your body. One more breath, your gaze is right at your elbow. So opening up through your chest. Push into your back foot, inhale, come back up. Perfect. Exhale, pop that heel off. 
Rotate down, cartwheel your hands down, place them on either foot, on either side of your foot, and step back down. Look. Inhale forward to your plank. Exhale, knees and chest. Chaturanga, or the full version. Inhale, baby cobra, or upper facing dog, and then exhale your down dog or your child's pose. Your choice. Two breaths, same sequence, other side. You notice how I was using my blocks. Hamstrings are just super, super tight. So using the blocks helps. It shortens that length for that down dog position. So if you have me want to try that, you're more than welcome to. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, lock, hop, or jump, forward, fold. Let it go here. Inhale, takes us up, not too fast. Bring your palms together, take that gaze up. And exhale, lower down to heart center. Same sequence, other side. Take it up, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Lift up halfway, flat back. So really pull the shoulder blades together, nice flat back here. Pressing your heels into the floor. Exhale, lower. Left leg, take it back, warrior one. Interlace those fingers. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight. Nice and strong, bracing through the center, right? Bracing your core the whole time. Straighten that front leg, inhale. Exhale, pull the hips back as you start to lower your chest. Now we still want a nice flat back. So maybe arms are by your side. Lower until you're about 90 degrees. Nice flat back. Slight bend in that front leg. Keep holding. Imagine you're being pulled back. Someone's pulling your hips, but also pulling on your wrists in the opposite direction at the same time. Drop that right arm, inhale, exhale, open up triangle pose, left arm. So now you're on the other side. Less of a challenge, you're up here. Maybe hand on your hip. More of a challenge, you're further down, and that forces you to rotate open a little bit more. So choose that level, maybe find the wall. Ooh, take it up and back. Your gaze is still at your hand. One more breath, big triangle pose. Inhale, push into your back foot. Woo, exhale. Let's take it to the top, sort of a mini chair pose. But I want just a little bit of weight on that front leg. Hands together, drop back. So most of your weight on that right leg. Because now we're going to lift up, inhale, and take that leg up as we exhale. First balance, warming up those glutes of that standing leg. One more breath here, tucking those hips under. Exhale, step back, high lunge. So glutes nice and warm. Inhale, a little higher. Exhale, open up from those hips. Knee and ankle rotate, lower for warrior two. Now it's easy to put a lot of weight in that front leg. So really try to press into that back leg as well. Flip that palm, inhale. Exhale, piece of warrior. Another big stretch to that side body, gaze up. And then inhale, take it back down. Exhale. We'll start hands on the hips. Remember, it's that side bend. So we really want to make sure that we're leaning with the core, not just our arms. So side bend to the right, just a little bit. Now that right hand, just very gently placing it. We're not putting weight on that leg. Just very gently placing it here. Back arm, we're going to sweep up. And around, drop the hips and take your gaze at your elbow. So we're making a diagonal line shape. Hold this here. <clears throat> just a little bit of weight on that front leg. You're just barely touching that thigh, okay? Perfect, drop those hips, lift the chest, one more breath. Push into your back foot, inhale. Nice, exhale, pop that back heel off the floor, cartwheel your hands down, take it on back. Inhale forward, you can find child's pose. Or go through your sequence here, practicing those push ups. Maybe going through it twice. Whenever you're done, you're done in child's pose or a down dog. We're gonna take it back to that first side and add on some layers and go right into our standing half of balance. Great job, everyone. One more breath where you're at. We have blocks, bring them to the top of the mat. Next, inhale, bring them down the knees. Exhale, walk back or jump to the top of your mat, forward fold. Let it go. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Bring your palms together, gaze up, exhale. 
lower down. Okay, we're doing okay? Thumbs up, perfect. All right, we're gonna go through this again. So just to show you how this will look. If you want a block right here, or maybe a stack, <clears throat> like I'm doing, we're gonna go through the whole sequence again. We'll do this extended side angle. We're gonna push off that foot. You can reach for your block or your bench, and we're gonna lift up, okay? I know I make it look easy, but that's really what we're doing. Going from that extended side angle to standing half spin. Push. This arm comes back up. So that's your standing half spin. Now, if you don't even want to practice that at all, from here, what you'll do is just shift and rotate forward for your warrior three, right? So that's what we're going to practice. So keep this little thing right there if you want to use it. All right, here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. All the way down, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back where you want. Interlace fingers and hold. Bracing your core the whole time. Straighten that leg, inhale, exhale, pull those hips back. Drop your chest. Hold it, hold it. Arms can be by your ears or by your hips. Flat is back. Big stretch behind those legs. Drop that left arm, exhale, open up right for triangle pose, hold this here. Stack that hand on top of your shoulder, you're gonna hold it. Now maybe you find that spot against the wall. Maybe you get a little bit deeper if that hand was on your hip. I want you to extend it all the way up. Two more breaths, let me see. Taking that hand away from that bottom leg if you can. Nice, Mindy, good. Good extension. And then push back into that leg, inhale up. Exhale, let's take a full chair, drop and lift. Arms up. So getting even lower than we did before. You're wiggling your toes. Hands come to prayer. Inhale, lift a little higher, right leg up. Oops, hold this right here. So once again, just still warming up that standing loop. Take it on back. We don't wanna fatigue it out though. So step right back, inhale up. Exhale, high lunge. Little bit higher next, inhale, exhale, warrior two, lower. Remember you're being pulled in both directions at the same time here. So find somewhere to land right in the middle, shoulders down. Put that palm in, inhale, exhale, take it back, piece of warrior. Gaze up at your hand, big stretch. Take it on back, inhale. Exhale, side bend. Lower that arm, inhale, reach, and exhale, extend, extended side angle. So remember, it's just a side bend. Arms just sort of follow along. So I'm gonna show you one more time. You're gonna push off that back foot, reach for that stack of blocks, and you're gonna open up to standing half moon or rotate the warrior free. Go ahead and do that. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. Push off your foot, exhale, reach for that. Reach for the blocks or the bench. Find a focus in front of you. Start to lift your back leg. And then your top arm, you're gonna pull back. So that's set up the same way it is in triangle pose with that hand on top of your shoulder. Now maybe hands on your hip, but you're practicing here. Hold this right here. Remember the side planks that we practice, you're stacking those hips. If you fall out of it, get back into it. We'll be here for a couple breaths. Other option, of course, is this warrior three. All right, you can hold that right there. Hold it for a couple more breaths. Let me take a look. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Try to stack those hips. Nice build, point that toe. Perfect, hold on to something, try some kind of balance. One more breath, everybody. I know this is hard. And then inhale, take it to chair pose. Just drop that leg to meet the other one. Exhale, bend and straighten those legs here. Woo, awesome, awesome work. Good job, let's, good job. Let's get a little bit of a twist. So last thing here, you're actually gonna step back that opposite leg. So the one that was holding you up, you're gonna take a big step back with that leg. So it should be your left. Inhale, exhale, take those hands down. Remember this runner's lunge that we did. You're gonna press that hand into the floor, drop your back knee first, and then reach and twist over that right leg. So we're still twisting that same side that we did in that last pose, but we have the other leg in front. If you want a little extra challenge, lift the knee off the floor, but without lifting your hips. Maybe hand is here, hold it for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, hands down. Woo, exhale, take it back. Good job, everybody. Your choice here, you can go through this flow. 
You can take a breath. We'll practice the same thing on the other side. Awesome, awesome work. And you'll probably find that one side is easier than the other. I know on this side, I can do the hit half moon much better than that, that side. So that's okay. Maybe this one will be a little better. All right, next inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, walk up or jump forward, fold. <clears throat> Go ahead and stack those blocks <clears throat> if you're using them for that half moon balance. And then reverse your swan dive. Inhale, take it up slow. Bring your palms together, exhale, lower. So pull that table, use your blocks, whatever you have, because same thing here on this side, we'll push off, we'll lift, or you'll come here, worry free. Whatever balance you want, maybe even tree pose, that works too, just some kind of balance. Inhale up, here we go, exhale, take it down. Get close to the end, everyone, inhale, lift, keep that energy up, you're doing great, exhale, worry one. Reach up and hold. Brace your core. I don't want to feel all of that weight and all of that pressure in our low back. So we brace our core, tuck the hips under. Straighten that leg, inhale. Exhale, let me just, here we go, flatten. So pull those hips back. Arms come down, nice flat back here. Maybe arms by your side, as flat as this bench. Hold, hold, hold. Imagine those hips being pulled back, drop the hips, drop the chest, and then inhale, drop that right arm, exhale, open up triangle pose, left arm. Legs nice and straight, hold that right there. Deeper pose than your last one, hold that there. <clears throat> Maybe taking that bottom hand away from your leg, feeling the core, the abs work a little bit harder, one more breath. Push into that back foot, inhale, whoa, exhale. Let's step to the front and find a nice full chair. Drop nice and low, arms up. As low as you can here, tucking those hips under. So no arch, tuck. Drop an inch lower, wiggle those toes. Hands come together, inhale, exhale, lift that left leg up. Just a quick balance. You don't wanna fatigue that glute. Step back, high lunge. Inhale a little higher, exhale, open up, warrior two. Nice and strong. Flip that palm, inhale, exhale, take it back. Peace, warrior, take your knees up. We're gonna get ready for extended side angle. Inhale, take it down, exhale. Remember, it's just that side bend, right? So you can think of it that way. And then just lower. Reach, inhale, exhale, drop the hips. Lift your chest, take your gaze at your elbow. Little bit of weight on that front leg, just a little bit. I know we want to put all of our weight in it. Lift the chest. Take one more breath and then push off your back foot, reposition. Take that front hand or reach for your stack of blocks. Keep your hips open, lift that leg and then reposition your arm. So your gaze can be down. If you're ready for that challenge, you take your gaze up like you would in triangle pose with your hands stacked on top of your shoulder. Or you're right here practicing warrior three, right? Like straight, you can point that toe, hold it, hold it, pull those abs in. We're here for a couple more breaths, so let's practice it together. Let me see. Stack those hips like side plank. Good, Teresa, yep. Good balance, hold that focus. Nice build, lift the chest, lift up and out of that pose. Point that toe a little higher. One more breath, everybody. And then inhale, take it down, sweep the other foot. Exhale, woo, bend and straighten those legs. Oh my goodness. Awesome work, we did a lot of work for that side body. We got one more thing left. Take a big step back with that opposite leg. So it should be your right leg, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hold, we're gonna do our lunge, reach and twist. So inhale, take those hands down. Drop that back knee first, pressing your right hand into the floor and exhale. That left leg should be in front, left arm reach and twist. If you want a little more, lift the knee off the floor without lifting your hips. Hold this right here, hold it, hold it. <clears throat> For four, drop those hips, lift the chest. Three, two, nice. One, good, inhale, take that hand back down. Exhale, step it on back to down dog. Last time going through this flow, so however you wanna do it, 
<clears throat> you are welcome to find your version here. Maybe you go through it twice. When you are done, you're gonna find child pose. Awesome work, everybody. <clears throat> awesome work, take a couple breaths. <clears throat> Let's take one more breath in that child's pose. Next inhale, slowly walk those hands up. Exhale, release. Woo, great job. Okay, we're going to come back to a pose that we practiced, I think it was two weeks ago. Bow pose, and I think I was calling it boat, but bow, like a bow and arrow. And that is just one more um, back extension that we'll do. That's on the floor here. I'll just show you real quick so you can see what it looks like. We'll first just practice with the quad stretch, and then we'll bring both legs together, and then you're going to lift. So it's you're sort of creating um, a bow and arrow shape. Okay. So let's come all the way down onto our chest and belly. Now, if you have a strap, you can use it. We're going to start with just a simple quad stretch. So we're going to look to our right. You're going to grab your right foot and keep the other arm down by your side. So head can relax, grab your right foot, press your thighs into the mat and hold. Now again, maybe this is it for you today. So just practice that stretch. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and switch. We're all doing this one together though. Let's switch sides. Left side, grab your left foot, same thing. Try to bring your knees close together. Press your thighs into the mat. You're trying to pull that foot back as far back as you can so that heel touches your glute. And then slowly release. Okay, <clears throat> round two, we're gonna try for bow pose. Now, if that was hard enough, you're just gonna to stick to your, to your um, to what we just did. We'll do the same exact thing, okay? All right, go ahead and grab that right foot. So everyone starts there. You want to try bow pose, turn your head. So you're looking down in front of you. You can bring your knees a little bit uh, wider. All right, if you're trying bow, go ahead and grab your other foot. If you're not trying the bow pose, you're just gonna switch to the other side. So you have both feet here. Squeeze your shoulder blades, hold this ear for a couple breaths. This might be enough for you. You can start with the knees wide. That's gonna give you more space in your back. <clears throat> All right, if you're ready for another final layer, we're going to try and lift off the mat. So push your feet into your hands, lift away from the mat like a Superman, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep pushing your feet into your hands, hold this for eight, keep breathing, seven, six, five, lift the knees off the floor, three, two, and one, relax. Woo, everyone relax and turn their head to one side, allow the shoulders to roll down. Now, it's just going to take some practice in terms of just that flexibility. So again, just starting by trying to hold on to both feet and just staying on the ground. That's sort of where you'll just start and continue practicing that until that feels not as challenging. Go ahead and tuck your toes, hands under your shoulders. Very, very slowly, you're going to press up and back to child's pose. Very slowly. And I want those knees together and drop it down. Drop the head here. Hold this for a couple of breaths. <clears throat> We're gonna grab our foam rollers in just a second here. So if you don't have them, go ahead and grab it. If you don't have one at all, you're just gonna line up um, a couple pillows on your mat. So next inhale, roll it up. Ooh, exhale, roll shoulders. All right, let's grab that roller. So I want to do one more stretch for the front side of the body, which is sort of similar to bow pose. That's what we're doing, right? We're stretching out the front side and moving our spine in this extended direction since all day we're like this. So we're trying to counteract that. And that's why it might feel kind of sore. It's kind of hard to do that because we're like this all day. Just kind of practice opening that up. 
All right, you're going to lay your foam roller here or three pillows. We're going to take a seat on the bottom of our roller. <clears throat> Keep your feet wide for balance so you don't slide off. All the way down, head is on the roller as well. You want to make sure that that is rested or that that's um, supported. Excuse me. All right, arms up. Let's take them out to the letter T and we'll just start there. So if you're already feeling this stretch in your arms and you're gonna stay right here. So maybe a, a pull along the chest and the armpits. If you don't feel this, take your arms up to make the letter V or, or like a Y, I guess I should say. So back of the hands touching the floor. Maybe a W feels better. That's somewhere in the middle between that T and that Y. Let gravity do its thing here. Wherever you are at, close your eyes. Now, if you want that full on version, you're gonna make the letter X with your body. So now that means extending your legs straight out. Keep them wide, just simply straighten them out. So now you're making a big letter X with your body. Hold this for a couple of breaths. This should feel like a huge stretch, maybe slightly uncomfortable but should not feel painful. So adjust if it does, a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of a pull that, that's normal if your muscles are tight. So keep breathing, try to stay here for a few more breaths. Making sure not to move your head. Just keep that supported and relaxed. So now when you're ready to slowly bend the knees, we'll start with the legs and pull the feet back in, place them on the floor, feet wide, slowly bend the elbows. I just like to bring them in towards my side and then let them go. And then we're gonna cross our arms over our chest and give ourselves a big hug. And let's gently slide off our roller. Move it off to the side, good job. Once you are down here, we go ahead and hug those knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug, rock side to side. Circle your ankles, wiggle your toes. Make circles in one direction with those legs. Relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders, and then switch the directions of those circles. Drop the feet down. Let's do our regular pair of windshield wipers here. Arms just by your side, dropping the legs from right to left. Take your arms out to the left T. We're going to take that right leg up and over. I just want you to cross that right ankle over your left knee. So like you're doing that figure four stretch. And we're going to drop our legs to the left side. And look over our right shoulder for a little spinal twist. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, drop them to the right side this time. And look over your left shoulder. Either way, should feel a good stretch in your spine and hips. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, let's switch. Left leg up, cross that ankle over your knee, figure four. Let's drop the legs to the right side, lowering that foot to the floor if you can, and look over your left shoulder. Inhale back to center, exhale, drop to the left side and look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center and exhale, release. All right, let's go ahead and find our happy baby pose to end. Grab the feet, extend out. So maybe you find a straddle here to get a little more stretch for those hamstrings. You can just kick the legs straight out. You are not able to keep your hands on your feet, then maybe the hands come by your knees and just open out into that straddle position to get a little extra stretch for those inner thighs, those hips, and those hamstrings. Maybe you rock side to side here. And then slowly bring those feet down. And then maybe you find one more stretch before coming into your final Shavasana, relaxation pose. That can be whatever you like. 
When you are there, I just ask that you close your eyes. Allow your body to completely relax. And just let go of everything here. Just take a few more moments, a few more breaths to decompress. On your next inhale, extend your legs straight out in front of you if they're not there already. Reach your arms all the way overhead, the deep breath, and exhale, release. Gently start to pull both knees into your chest. Give yourself one final big hug. Gently rock side to side. When you're ready, roll over to one side. Then press yourself up. Come into any comfortable seated position. Once you're up there, maybe finding a couple of extra stretches to finish, maybe a shoulder roll or two, maybe a gentle twist right and left. And then all together, we'll take a nice deep breath in and reach those arms up nice and high. Bring your palms together as you exhale, lower down, closing your eyes for a moment, expressing gratitude, for showing up today, for making time for you and your body to do some movement on this beautiful Friday morning. And then we will end our practice by saying namaste to one another. Namaste. Great job, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Happy Friday. And I'll see you next time. Hope you're feeling good. Woohoo. Nice one. Thanks, Ellen. Hey. You're welcome.